Hi and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're going to show you how to test the inverter and compressor for a non-colon GE refrigerator. So let's get started. In this video you will need a multimeter and once you have one you'll turn it to DC volts. And what we're going to do here, we're going to check the input voltage from the main board to the inverter which activates the inverter to convert it from 120 to 240. So if you put your two prongs in this coax right here you should get 2.5 to 2.6 I believe and if you're getting a voltage just push your prongs in a little further and there we go 2.7 okay so that tells us the main board is sending power to activate the inverter okay so now we're going to check the AC voltage so turn your multimeter to the AC section so we could, we're going to check the 120 volts. So just put your multimeter one in the black, one in the orange. As you can see, we got 126. So obviously we're getting power to the inverter and we're also getting our DC voltage, the 2.7. So if you're getting the two correct voltage inputs to the compressor and your compressor is not vibrating or humming or nothing, more likely it's your inverter. 90, I would say even 99% of the time, uh, is your inverter. So if you take this clip off also and you check you basically disconnect the inverter to check your direct power from the board it should be like 4.6.5 so as you can see here 4.6 so we're definitely getting correct power from the main board so if you did not get this power from the main board more than likely it's your main board and not the inverter so this is a great test so let's get started on removing this inverter. Make sure you unplug it. And now we're going to take a quarter bit screw out that holds the inverter into place. It's right here, just counterclockwise. Use a hand tool or a drill, whatever you prefer. Okay, at this point, you're just going to disconnect the coaxes. There should only be two, and then you'll have to remove the ground wire as you'll see here in the video. So this is my 120 volt input. I'll disconnect. And now I disconnect my DC. Let me see if we can get a better light so you can see. So this was just basically press up and slide. You'll just basically press it to the side. Now you have this uh, harness that connects to the compressor so just take a flathead and kind of pry it off gently from the top and the bottom and then once you get that off then you'll move the ground wire that's connected to the housing Okay, so now we have the ground wire removed. I like to kind of tuck everything on the right, and in this precise model, you actually can remove this uh, wire from the housing of the fridge. It has a little clip here at the top here. I'll show you in a moment. Um, this can be a little bit of a pain to get out. You definitely don't want to bend the copper tubing on your left or bend the one on the right too much because if you bust or break the line, all the freon will come out and then you would have a major problem. So basically just take your time. You can just kind of press a little bit to the left as you can see here, but you don't want to kink it or bend it or obviously break it. Uh, so just maneuver, take your time, be careful and so forth. So don't, don't break that. Okay, so this is the new GE inverter. I will leave this in the description below if you're interested in uh, getting this for your GE fridge. So it's a genuine replacement part, so this is definitely what you would need. Okay, so let's install the new inverter. It's pretty much the same way you took the old one off and you'll put this one on. But one thing I do like to do is check the windings and make sure the compressor is not grounded. 
So if you have a multimeter, you'll just basically turn it on the ohms settings. Some multimeters beep, and some will just show you the resistance and so forth. And mine has two options, so I'll go with the beeping one. So this is what it sounds like if it's, well, take that back. If it beeps here, if it says 0 0.1, 0 0.6, and you're touching the prong on the left, you have three, and you're touching this where you scraped the paint off the compressor, if that beeps, that basically tells you your compressor winded on the inside is touching the side of the compressor. And here we're just testing the pins one by one. So if I hit two together, I should get the same number, 6.6, 6.6, .6, uh, as I touch each one together. My multimeter is real sensitive, so that's why it's kind of hopping a little bit more than usual. But if everything tests is good, that tells you for sure that your compressor is okay. So let's get started. So what I'd like to do first is align or find where the hole is on the inverter so that way I'll know exactly how to slide it in because I have to put that quarter bit screw back into place. And here it is basically the same way, just gently press it in. You can kind of press on that copper tubing on the left a little bit if you have to, but just not too much. And just take your time until you get it in there correctly. Okay, so now we'll connect this harness back to the compressor. So make sure it's in the correct position. So you have the one hole at the bottom and the two at the top. And it basically has to go exactly the same way the prongs are, if that makes sense. So you'll just basically press that on flush against the compressor. And once that's done, then you're gonna reconnect all your uh, harnesses together, your 120 and your DC. But before we do that, I guess we have to slide it on. So this will basically go on the top and you'll kind of press down until you line up the hole at the bottom of the inverter where you can reinstall the screw. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so let's install the screw to hold the inverter into the compressor. So you have the inverter right, this should be no problem to install this screw. There we go. And uh, you can just reconnect your ground wires to the housing of the fridge. Okay, so now we're going to reconnect your harnesses. So we can reconnect this one. This is one I took off at the beginning. I didn't show it in the video, but you can disconnect this to give you more space to pull that inverter out. So it just clicks in and clicks out. Just press. There we go. Yeah, I removed that just so I can have more room to pull pull that inverter out. So you'll just reconnect all your harnesses. Your ground's connected. So that's pretty much it. Let's plug it in and see what we have. So here's an example of what should happen with a working refrigerator. So as soon as the bore sends a 2.6 to this inverter, the compressor should turn on, turn on right away. So this, I'll show you here. Okay. Fast forward it a little bit. There we go. So see with 2.7, so right away you'll hear this compressor kick on. 
Well, I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, just leave in the comments below. And please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. Have a good day.